Hello and welcome to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. We'll be starting a new game. So, I just have to wait for the memory card. New game. Empty. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Okay, welcome once again to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. I'll just grab this dragon first before I get into my actual commentary. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, there we go. Um, yes. Spyro the Dragon holds a special place uh, in my heart, I suppose, if I want to get sappy. Um, it's the first game I actually personally bought for myself uh, on my PS1. It's always an achievement for uh, <laughs> a young guy to save up his money and buy his first PlayStation game. Or something, some some worthy achievement. Um, anyway, this is a, a let's play I'll be running, um, sort of in tandem with my other ones, just sort of a side project. Though it is it is a main let's play. It's a side project. Crap! Totally lost the train of my thought because I got interrupted. Cats in buckets of custard. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm running this as a sort of... It's a main Let's Play, but it's also... Uh, oh, crap. Running in tandem to other main Let's Plays. But it's something I can do very quickly. Where's Nasty North? And those of you who have watched my... Uh, Spyro 2 Let's Play will know that I am not fond of waiting around. Damn it, where did that guy go? I'm not fond of waiting around for the NPC characters to uh, say their piece. I prefer to just kind of get on with the game. Um, which can be a pity since they do it often say quite entertaining things, um, but for the sake of speed, I'm just going to ignore them. It's mainly just because I don't have the patience to sit through all of the dragons over and over and over. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's bo- There. <laughs> I can't actually remember what this homeworld's called. But it's the very first one, obviously. Now, to get those, we have to be right about here. Let me jump up and fly forward 
and we fail. This this uh, jump always bugged me, and it's um good that they included in the follow-up games the ability to press triangle and actually hover at the end of the jump to get a little bit more height. There we go. It's like the only difficult part of this level, this homeworld. It's interesting because it's, uh, Spyro 1, of course, had enemies in the homeworlds, which made things kind of interesting. Um, I do like the style of the homeworlds in uh, Spyro 2 and 3. It was good to have a kind of separate space uh, distinguishing from the uh, the level gameplay. It's kind of like your hub, which is a safe sort of portal. But yeah, this is uh, Spyro the Dragon was my platform game of choice. I was never much of a Crash Bandicoot guy, nor Croc or Rayman or anything like that. It was Spyro that uh, that started it all, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, as uh, I haven't really explained what I'm doing, I'm just going through finishing off the homeworld. I had the notion that I may uh, I may do this in a long series of lots of videos um, oh bollocks a long series of lots of videos one video per level but um, I have a feeling because the levels are at least at the beginning, relatively short. That that might be not sufficient for me to actually do any decent commentary, um, or not. So the format I was thinking originally was uh, do the home world. Now I'm missing something. I don't know what. There's one gem somewhere that I've missed. No oh, box. There's also a good uh, thing that they included actual water in the follow up games where you could actually swim and not drown every time you touched a liquid. They still kept in the uh, the violent goo, death, liquids in the other games, of course. But it was nice to have liquid that you can actually travel in. Now, what am I actually missing? And I know you can get all the gems straight away. This is annoying. What have I missed? So much for a rapid playthrough. I remember I, I, um, after I got this emulator, I booted it up and immediately like powered through these first few levels in no time at all. I thought, oh, this will be a really quick let's play. There, of course, it's. Back here. I always miss them around here since I don't go around the towers too much. There we go, there's a hundred of a hundred. So, to round this section off, we're going to head over to the flight level. I was thinking homeworld flight level as a package and then um, individual level videos. But that might not work. We'll see how this turns out. Okay, so slightly scruffy. But should be able to grab that last guy before time runs out, and I'm going to be cutting it pretty fine. And I failed. 
How embarrassing. Failed at the last second on my first run. <laughs> Mismanaged my time there. Um, I found that the, the, the flight levels in Spyro 1 are probably the hardest in the series because it's such a tight time frame that you actually have to work with. Two, they're a bit more generous with the time afforded to you. And three, they just changed the format entirely. Where you had a countdown as opposed to earning uh, time from completing objectives. Which I found a lot easier to cope with. Um, but then once I kind of cut my teeth on those challenges in Spyro 3, <coughs> I was able to come back to Spyro 1 and 2 and complete the flight challenges with relative ease. It's really just learning the route. See, that's all it is to these flight levels. Um, you can shave some seconds and milliseconds off if you're uh, very careful and have like exact cornering. Um, but for the most part there's a set route that's relatively straightforward to follow. Now I need to get this guy. This is my mistake last time as I didn't get him and decided to get the archers and try and backtrack. But no, finish off all the planes. And last arch, done. In two tries. Could have got it in the first try if I'd actually not been cocky and uh, tried to grab the last plane after getting the archers. But yeah, planes, then arch then those last two archers, that's the best route. And we're done. Back to the home world.